السلام عليكم يا أهل المدارس. Today my topic is about the uh, sonar receptor, uh, the atopic in the ten biology, the structure and function of uh, ear, which is a sensory organ for hearing. So let's come. Actually, ear is a complex organ of our body, which helps us to hear the sound waves coming from all directions. Someone is calling her, uh, us so what we will give a response so this stimuli of someone is coming to our ear and then our ears process this information and send this to our cerebrum and give a response back someone is calling you so you have to respond okay actually our ear can be divided into three parts external ear middle ear and internal ear so you can see there this is a diagram of our ear okay in this diagram you can see here that this outer part you can see here this outer part is this part outer part we, we can see with our visible naked eyes so external ear is consist of pinna so this part is called whole part is called pinna Next is the auditory canal. So, pinna can be divided into several parts. This part of the pinna is called, this part, is called helix pinna. Helix pinna. This part is called kunak pinna. This is the point from where the auditory canal start and the uh, sound is prepared to be uh, goes into the middle ear and then the ear, inner ear, okay? Is a kunka pinna. And this lower part is called lobul finna. So this point is called lobul finna. Some of some people, this is attached with the face side, but someone had detached uh, face, uh, okay? So it is lobul pinna. So the finna can be divided into uh, several other categories. Next is the part of the canal. So the canal can be started from the conca pinna and then uh, goes to the middle ear. So this is the starting point of the auditory canal. You can see here. So sound wave goes like this structure. Okay. So, our digital canal is about uh, 24 millimeter mm uh, long, and this is also consist of lower. So you can see here this main part is called our digital canal, while the lower part you can see here the lower part from our digital canal is our digital canal. The lower part in this uh, 24, this hole is a uh, 24 millimeter from here to here. Tell the uh, air drum. This is 24 millimeter, and out of these, there are some cartilaginous part lower from the uh, auditory canal. This is 8 mm long. So, and the remaining 16 mm is taken by the bony part. So, we can say that lower from the auditory canal, there are two structures one about from the starting till 8 mm of the auditory canal, it is called the legends part. You can see the green portion. And the remaining 16 mm is the bony part. Okay. And between the bony part and the uh, cartilaginous part, there is a gland which we call as a serminous gland. You can see here this one is the Serminous gland, it secretes sermion. Serm, uh, serm, Secret is a sermion. It secretes sermion. It is a, her, it is a uh, gland which secretes sermion. It is responsible for collecting the dust particle coming with the with the sound waves like sound waves is, uh, come from this point so this sound wave may contain some dust particle so in the external auditory canal the uh, serminous gland secretes uh, sermion which collect which uh, capture the dust particle coming with the sound waves and this way 
some dust particle uh, can be mentioned in our ear, extended ear, which we call is there is a lot of dust in our ear. This dust particle is uh, collected by sermiune uh, sermiune gland uh, with from coming sound waves. Okay. Next, our auditory canal can be divided into two parts. One is the external, external auditory canal, which can be from this point, uh, can be till this point. Okay. This from here to here, it is external auditory canal. This auditory canal moves upward. You can see here, this is lower, uh, lower side, so they move upward. You can see here upward and backward. You can see here this the beginning of the external auditory canal is backward. You can see here backward. It is like uh, this. You, you will see here. Yeah? So it is backward and this is the forward and upward, not forward. The backward. So in the external auditory canal, there is two type of motion. One is the backward motion of the sound waves. Second is the upward. Okay. The next is the internal auditory canal. So internal auditory canal consists of two types. It is opposite to this. In this, the sound waves move down, moves forward. You can see here it is forward, forward, and it moves lower down. You can see here, it is lower down. It is like a slope. So the person reach the top of the slope, then the person comes lower the slope. So there is two type of motion. One is the forward, which is like this. And second is the um, lower side. To lower side, upward and lower side. Okay. The next part of the external ear is the eardrum. So Eardrum, we also call in the scientific language is the typenum. Typenum is the scientific name of eardrum. It is a membrane, it is a drum like structure which is present, which separates external ear from internal ear, from the middle ear. So, I have zoom in here. Its height is uh, 9 to 10 mm long. This is this is 9 to 10 mm long. Its wideness is to 8 9 mm wide. And its thickness only this point. It is 0.1 mm thick. So I will mention the membrane present in this. Uh, it consists of three types of membrane. One is the, the outer one is the uh, not the epithelial membrane. The second one is the fibrous membrane. The third one is the mucosal membrane. So the eardrum is consists of three types of membrane, which we call a membrane of the eardrum. They are uh, epithelial membrane, the outer side, it is a epithelial membrane. The second is the fibrous membrane, and the third one is the mucosal membrane. So eardrum is consists of these membranes. The next part for the sound waves is the middle ear. Middle ear is consists of uh, oscillus of bones. So the middle ear consists of oscillus bone. These are three types of bone. From here to here, it is the part of middle ear. It consists of oscillus of uh, bones. So this bone is attached with the eardrum. It is called malleus. This is called malleus. This part, this uh, black bone is called ancus. And this one, the steps, this is called the steps. Okay, the you know that our body is consists of uh, 
206 bones out of 206 bone six bones are present in our uh, two our fear of ear three eye uh, and right uh, three and left okay so these are the smallest bone of our body out of these the uh, steps you can see here this green portion bone is the smallest bone in our body so we can say the steps is the smallest bone in our body and it attaches with the inner ear through the oval window okay the next is the internal ear internal ear is consist of two portion one is the cochlea you can see here this part is called the cochlea the circular circular part is called the cochlea and these three canals you can see this one and this one and this one this is called the next part three semicircular canal this is called the posterior posterior semicircular canal this is the anterior uh, semicircular canal and this is the lateral semicircular canal okay this these two are the vertical semicircular canal you can see here they are uh, vertical and this one is the horizontal it if we made in three d image so it is horizontal and these two are vertical okay and this is the cochlea so three semicircular canal are uh, responsible for balancing we will talk about it later and this is the cochlea cochlea consist of some uh, fluid which we call the cochlear uh, fluid and next is the uh, cortex cortex are uh, some cell which is present in the cochlea these are these are consist of hairs which help in hearing the sound and this is the another another layer or another way which goes from the middle ear to the which is called as a eustachian tube it links the middle ear with the pharynx pharynx it this is called lower part is called pharynx it goes to pharynx its function is to normalize the ear pressure between the middle ear and the environment in order that the if there is uh, if the ear is not uh, is not present in the middle ear so it will provide through our breathing a bit is great amount so they it will uh, back provide to the pharynx now this was the general structure of the here now we are going to talk about its mechanism that how we can be able to hear the sound so first of all we call the, this is the pinna so pinna is responsible for collecting the sound waves coming from your direction so pinna collect all the sound waves and direct them to the like the pinna collect these all so the sound waves will they will direct into the ear canal through the ear canal it moves and a bit consists of some dust so there the serumin uh, are excreted by the cermis gland which capture all the dust particle to in the external ear then the sound wave goes to the inner ear drum when the sound wave when the sound wave uh, accident with the ear drum so the ear drum start vibration it start vibration to and promotion so due to its to and promotion the next part is called the malleus so it uh, the malleus also start motion from the vibration of the malleus like it start uh, vibration so it will touched with the malleus and then the malleus uh, send this vibration to the next part is called the incus so the incus will start vibration and this vibration will uh, stop steps will ask to start vibration and this vibration vibration will goes to the next part inner ear through the oval window and the next part the inner ear so the inner ear is consist of cochlea and the cochlea is the main responsible for uh, mortalization of the uh, a sound which then send this to the central nervous system so it consists of cochlea which is the organ of hearing when the sound waves 
is moving through these canals in the cochlea. So this consists of cochlear organ, which contain a pairs. And this is there are some fluid are so present, which we call as the cochlear fluid. So when sound will come there, so the sound will press a pressure on the fluid. Then the when the uh, pressure is pressed on the fluid, so the fluid transfer this uh, pressure of the sound waves to the cochlea. Cochlea consists of ears, so the fluid then bend the ears. The bending of ear, this this produce an impulse, which then sent to the cerebrum. Through the auditory nerve, so due to the bending of here and the cochlear organ is produce a an impulse of sound waves, then it carried by the auditory nerve to the cerebrum. Second, we will talk about the function of three sensor cochlear. So actually, we say the internal ear is responsible for balance of the body. Like we say in the uh, central nervous system, the cerebellum is responsible for balancing the body. So, in this way, what gives the information of balancing to the cerebellum? Because cerebellum also needs some impulse. So, during this consists of fluid and uh, some hairs, as consists of hairs. So, when our head moves, like head is moving, so during this time the the water present in three semester canal also bend the here present so due to this bending up here this impulse is carried by these nerves to the cerebellum which gives the information that the in that the body is in balance or not so then cerebellum process it and give a response to be balanced, to remain in balance in order to maintain the balance in whole body. So student, this was about the structure and function of the uh, ear and its part. Oh, so there is no any other talk about it. So I hope that you have learned more about my lecture. If you have any doubt, any question, so please mention in the comment and please subscribe and share my lecture for the next coming lectures.